Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Ah, oh, good evening, YouTube. Um, I think this is the first video I've made today. Um, been out doing things and getting things ready for the weekend. I'm going to be granddaughterless for this weekend, it appears. So, I will be able to um, get a start on my little... I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, there's a 1 by 2 uh, 8 foot long laying there against the uh, baseboard over there. Um, that'll be the start of my, my uh, camera boom. I have all the uh, necessary hardware. I bought that at the Home Depot along with the board today. And here's my little head for the um, camera mount. And uh, like I say, I should be able to knock that out pretty quick, hopefully. Uh, if all goes well, I will start on that in the morning and um, get some something done on it. To uh, make this, uh, get this camera mount out of the, uh, it was the small tripod I was using. The, the tripod is not, um, not functional actually because these two um, rods slide in but they don't slide out and I can't even get this middle one to come out at all. So, And plus one of the uh, little rubber feet had separated. Um, it, it was a cheap uh, tripod. I think I got it for free. And I've got another one around here somewhere just like it. So it's not a big deal on the loss of that. I'll probably figure out something else to use those for. But uh, anyway, in the meantime, this will make a nice little head. Like I say, it's pretty much adjustable anyway. You, you know, you can go a 90 degree angle there with uh, with that uh, setting there. Let me do this real quick. Let's see how. There we go. So it can be moved. If I loosened up enough, it would be. There we go. It can be moved that far around and positioned about any position you want to position it in. So it's a perfect little mount for it. It'll be mounted on a little piece of one by two and that'll swivel into the other piece, the upright piece, and then the cross piece will go over there. And <laughs> I've got it all figured out in my head and in a drawing I made. I will be putting a um, a hole there in that corner and the uh, boom will be actually mounted underneath. Be one there, probably one about there, and maybe one in the middle there. And I don't know if I'll put one on that end or not, but I may. I have enough enough bolts to do that. And those will all be fastened with nuts and then sunk, countersunk into the wood a little bit to where, you know, when I put the boom on there, it'll still, it'll still be functional with that. So I've got the uh, necessary wing nuts. I guess you saw those. And uh, plenty of washers. And uh, like I say, it should, should come out pretty good, I think, I hope. Uh, it's a plan. So anyway, just wanted to kind of update you this evening on what I've done today. Um, I trip to Home Depot. It wears me out. I just, you know, I went to Walmart yesterday and Home, Bo Home Depot today, and those kind of uh, trips kind of wear me out. Uh, another little update on speaker. I told you, I think I may have mentioned it. I don't know if I did for sure, but there was a little piece of debris in here between the frame and the cone. I don't even see it now, but it's, it was just a piece of little hard stuff. It was wedged in there, and uh, I got that out, but this is absolutely no, be no better. And I, you probably can't hear that, but there's a rattle in that when I do this. Yeah, he's, you may be able to hear it. And there's something in there rattling. It's not, I don't think it's the voice core rubbing like I thought it was. There's something in there that's rattling. And... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I found a, a replacement on YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> eBay for seven or eight dollars shipped, and I think I'm going to go ahead and, and get. The, I think it's a Boss is the brand name. It's probably a really cheap speaker, 
but it's actually better than what's in here probably it's uh, got the round magnet and uh, it, it looks a little heavier as far as what you know it is I'm just hoping uh, you know I'm gonna try to find some measurements and get some measurements of this this has got to fit I don't know if you can see that. It's that this thing here presses up against the back of that speaker and that's what that rubber piece is for right there I, I think I can probably fit some rubber in there if I need to uh, I'm hoping that uh, filter capacitor there will be able to clear it um, I don't think the magnet's any bigger than that space right there so we'll see when I get it uh, probably go ahead and order that tonight and uh, I just want to get this finished. I may go ahead and take this speaker apart and find out what's wrong with it. I'm just curious. It's actually got a nice cone, and you know, if I if I got really good at it, maybe I could just go ahead and um, recone that one because it is kind of split, and the rest of that that is good. So just using the cone of this wouldn't be too bad idea. So give that a thought. You know, I, I just may may play around with it to see what I can find out. So anyway, that's my little update for this evening, and uh, that's probably all you get out of me today, so thanks for watching.